Hi, in this video we're going to do something that doesn't come up very often, but when it does it can be a little complicated. We are going to use Excel to convert uh, longitude latitude that's in decimal degrees into degrees minutes seconds. And you can see here I have longitude latitude points that are in decimal degrees and I want to convert them to degrees minutes seconds. So there's a few little tricks that you have to do in order to get the numbers formatted in order to do the math, uh, to do the conversion. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to add a column next to, we're going to do latitude first, so we're going to add a column here next to latitude. And the reason why is because I want to separate this 32 and the 0.777, pretty much the degree and then the decimal part of the degree, I want to separate them to two different columns. That way we can do the math on the decimal part of the degree. Um, one thing that we need to do to do that is that we want to use this text to column tool that's on the data uh, tab with a ribbon. The only issue is that we don't have a separator in there um, right now, so we want to add that in. So the first thing that we need to do is format the cells, change it over to a text from a number, and then we're going to use the Control F defined. If you hit Control F on your on your keyboard, and then you click on the replace, you want to find all the periods, the dots and you want to replace it with a comma dot and we're going to use the comma to separate the two different text values so you replace all and you can see here whenever you put period and comma dot there what happened 32 comma period 777 so now we can use the text to column feature in Excel and this is a pretty awesome tool what it does is it separates out uh, text information by some kind of delimited a uh, number, a uh, delimited character like a comma. Um, so if I click on here on text a comma, I choose delimited. I click next and I choose the comma. And you can see whenever a comma is clicked, it adds a line there, um, pretty much se separating out these two values and putting one here into this column. So I hit finish and you can see here now I have my latitude and this is going to be my latitude of degrees. Here, this is going to be the first part of my latitude of minutes. And so we know that there is 60 minutes in a degree. So if I take this number here and I multiply it by 60, I'll get the number of minutes that are in, that are in this particular degree. So I hit the equal button that calls up formulas on Excel. And then I click on cell B2 and I want to multiply it by 60. So I can see that there was 46.662 minutes in this particular latitude. So this is my latitude minutes, but it's just my first, my first section of it. Anyways, if I click on here on the cell, in the very corner there's a little black dot, and if I move my mouse until it becomes a little black uh, cross, and I double click, it will expand that formula out from here to down here. So you can see here B2 changed now to B3, and it's doing the same calculation on all of them. I want to go ahead and insert in another column. And I need to do the same thing, because now this is the latitude of minutes, but I want to separate latitude of minutes from here uh, from the 46 minutes from the 0.66 the decimal minutes which are going to be converted afterwards into seconds. Um, one thing that I can do also is I can pay, copy this and I want to paste special and what I want to paste is just the values. So if I go here paste values. This will allow me now just to delete these out. Okay. And so now I have here my latitude in decimal minutes. And so I want to do the same thing over again. So I just say insert. I do my control F. I find replace the period to a period, a comma period, replace all. That changed it over to text automatically. Then I do here text to column under the data tab of the column, delimited, comma, next finished, it separates it out. This now I have is latitude minutes. 
And so now here is my latitude and decimal minutes. And we all know that there's 60 minutes, uh, 60 seconds in one minute. So we say equals here, that multiplied by 60. And then that is my decimal seconds. Again, I insert another column. Because these are formulas, I want to copy them. And then I want to paste special as just the values. That allows me just to delete all this out. And now I have my latitude in seconds. One thing that I also need to add on to here is the hemisphere. And so since this was a positive value, these will all be in the northern hemisphere. And if it was a negative value, it would be in the southern hemisphere. I can just continue that in all the way down by double clicking again. And you can see here now I have latitude, decimal, minutes, seconds. Quickly, I can do the same thing here with the longitude. Since here I have longitude as a negative, I know that's going to be in the western hemisphere. So I put here the west, continue that down. Here, I want to do my control F, replace the period with a comma dot, place all. That converted it to a text also at the same time. Then I want to do the text to column, delimited, comma, finish, separates them out. This becomes my longitude degrees and then I want to do the same thing here control F replace that comma with the comma dot oh wait sorry I'm getting ahead of myself actually now I need to say equals to this one times 60 because this is decimal minutes and I want to convert uh, decimal degrees and I want to convert it to minutes and so we know 60 minutes and one degree so here we have 27 good and then we delete this oh wait. we copy this we paste it as just values delete these two we don't need them anymore now we're here with longitude minutes we do control F here and we want to convert this now to seconds we want to change that with the comma dot so we replace all of them they all replace we maybe want to go here with the format cells and make sure that's a text good and then we do our text of columns delimited comma dot is the separator so the comma is separator and finish and so then this now is in decimal minutes now this will equal to this will equal to this one times 60. Continue it down all the way. That now we want to copy it and paste it just as values to get rid of the formulas and delete these out. Longitude. So this is all great. We have here our northern hemisphere, 32 degrees, 46 minutes, 39.72 seconds, same thing here. And they're all in separate columns, which is nice, but maybe we want them all to be in one string of text. So here, I'm going to use the concatenate. So I'm going to put here latitude DMS, and I want to use the concatenate tool or equation function which allows me to put strings of text together. So I can put here concatenate. You see it says join several uh, text of strings into one text string. My first text I'm going to say is northern, uh, comma. My second text I'm going to want to do a uh, space. So I'm going to put double quotes, space, double quotes. My second text I want to do the uh, 32. So I click on that one, comma, 
and the next one I want to do is the degree sign. And so if I say here my double quotes, that allows me to insert in text manually, but then I have to go here to the insert, and unfortunately my degree sign is gone. And so what I'm going to have to use, my insert symbol is gone, so what I'm going to have to use is the special uh, ASCII code for degree. And so how do I do that? I'm going to use the uh, ASCII code and the way you're going to do it with a, a Windows computer that's what I'm on right now is that you want to hold the alt key on your keyboard you don't want to let it go while you're holding the alt key you want to type 248 on the uh, number pad so 248 and that should put there you go you see that little degree sign showed up so I put a space after that and uh, another double quote comma and then 46 and for minutes we do a little uh, single quote on it so comma double quote single quote space double quote comma and then the seconds and for that one I want to do a double quote so comma double quote double quote this time is the text and then another double quote and that should do it close a parenthesis enter and seems like I made a little mistake but reviewing this it looks fine besides the single quote this is what happens so we hit yes and there we go so now my formula you can see our a2 this one with the space then b2 with the degree space c2 with the single quote space then d2 with the double quotes and here is my string of text I can continue that down what's nice about this one is that we can just copy this and paste it over here and it's going to automatically pull these ones only problem here we need to get rid of that negative so control F we want to replace the negative sign with nothing I saw good why do we replace it? Because we have the West that represents the negative sign. And so now I can put here longitude DMS. And I can continue that down all the way too. And if you wanted to be nice, uh, if you were seeing this as someone and you wanted to give them a clean copy, you can just copy those two, go to a new sheet, and paste only the values. And then you have a clean Excel spreadsheet with all the latitudes and longitudes in degrees, minutes, and seconds. <clears throat> so again, just to recap, we had them in decimal degrees, we used the control F with the replace function to replace the period with the comma period. That comma period was used to, uh, to as a delimited character for our text to column to separate out all these pieces. When we separate out pieces, we multiplied it by a 60 to convert degrees to minutes and then later to minutes to seconds. And then finally, we use the concatenate to put this all together as a text string. And then finally, we can copy paste that into a new sheet and paste just the values, getting just these nice looking degrees, minutes, seconds for your, for your longitude latitude.